Well, an awesome morning to each of you, and welcome to week four. Uh, you've made it a third of the way through the class, so I applaud you. Good job. There's still a lot to go. This is going to be a fairly tough week, uh, very intense in terms of the amount of work that you have to do. So I'm, I'm sending you this note uh, early so that you can... Uh, spend more time with your group and individually. So I wanted to go over just what is going to be required this week and a little bit about the cases that we're going through um, and the due dates and all that good stuff. Just uh, want to make sure you get them all turned in on time. So there are um, <clears throat> there are three uh, graded assignments, uh, three graded case assignments, prep and group assignments. The first one is the uh, case analysis prep. And let me just speak to that just for a minute. Um, so it's the week four case analysis prep, Hotel Vin uh, Vertu. Um, and it's just, it's a case about really looking at the opportunity itself. What kind of an opportunity it is for, for these two ladies. Um, so you should immediately review the case, read it, understand it, review the exhibits in detail. Uh, there's a fairly uh, detailed Excel spreadsheet that we created. It has um, some gotchas in there, if you will, <laughs> and you have to find them. You gotta figure out whether they're, they're um, good for the enterprise or not. And so, um, as you look through, if there's some things you don't like, you should make sure you analyze those and make recommendations. Uh, but this this case will help you prepare for the group discussion more than anything. So it's an, it's an individual assignment, but it prepares you to uh, be knowledgeable when you have your group discussion later in the week. Uh, for this year, to create a Word document, answer the questions, um, you know, review the Excel document and comment on it. There's some why or why not sort of questions in there that you're to review. Um, as you review the uh, exhibits, I want you to look at what are the primary sources of value, value creation, and where is that coming? And, and are they at risk or are they fairly certain? So you, you are going to... Uh, um, do the analysis and figure that out. In fact, I think in the later assignments, you actually are to write to these two owners as if you're an outside consultant. So don't, don't write it to me. Don't say, hey, Brother Whitaker, this is what I do. You're to write a letter as if you're a consultant to them. So we'll get into that in just a minute. So this is due May 11th, so it's a midweek um, assignment. So just be aware of that. It's at mid May 11th at midnight. It's a Word document, and uh, it's an individual assignment. All right, the second one is actually a group assignment. Um, that is the uh, week four group assignment, Hotel Ventu. And uh, there's a number of questions that you're to ask yourselves and ask the group. And then uh, to compose uh, a Word document. So as a group, you're going to have to figure out who does what. And then those all go towards the one person who's going to put them all together and submit it. Um, but be sure you answer every question. Sometimes in this particular case, I get some of you who answer part of the question or some of the question. I just don't get the, you know, the question itself. And so you don't answer it. So I, that's not a good thing. You know, do your best. I see that you're doing your best. I get that. But answer all the questions and, and do the numbers. Um, look through the risks and opportunities. Talk about those in your write-up and your discussion. And um, you know, this this spreadsheet will really tell the story about this opportunity. So um, take a look at that. Sorry, my doorbell just rang. And, oh, it was our delivery guy. It... it uh, it rings up in my office, so that all I have to do is turn and look and see who's at the door. Um, then the very last bullet point, it says, ask how can DRC and Whiting 
use the lean startup principles. And so there's a little piece in the case that talks about startup principles. And it's also, you can, you can hit startup principles on the internet and there's tons of information. So, so that's the second piece. That's a group assignment. It's a Word document. And let me check to see when it's due. I think it's due midweek too. Oh no, it's the 13th. So you have till the end of the week. All right, the last one, which is the tough one. And this is a 50 point case and it's 50 points for a reason because it's a tough case. Um, this is a group assignment. It is. Um, it suggests that you write it up in case-based essay format. I'm not holding you to that, but do your best. If you're really good at writing in case-based essay format, I'll probably give you a little extra point or two, but I'm not going to hold you to the fact that, you know, as long as you use proper grammar and well-structured paragraphs and very logical, sequential, you know, format and how you're writing, I think you'll be fine. You will be fine. I think you'll be fine. And this is the one where you actually have to become a business consultant. So think professionally. How do you write something up to a client who's hired you, who's paying you money to give them advice? Um, and so it's, it's, a, it's a report. Basically, it's an outlined report that you're going to create. Um, in this case, I'm going to read it, but you're going to write it to them. Um, so I'd ask you to develop an outline, create an action plan, both short and long term, and use the principles that you've learned so far in this course. Um, it also suggests that you provide them a situation analysis. So you're going to have to be up on what's going on. You know, what's the current situation? They probably know this, but um, tell them anyway, write it up that way. Uh, so you're going to, you know, you talk about there's a number of acronyms that are it's asking you to provide data on. So if you don't know what those acronyms, just Google them. Um, but most of them are just generally general accounting principle acronyms. Um, and then talk about the risks. So you're going to, as a consultant, you're going to see some obvious risks. You know, too much capital you have to put in, weak or strong market, um, lack of experience doing this sort of thing. When I was in the hotel business, that was the number one thing that seemed to get us is, is having a brand new inexperienced staff that started a hotel. I learned that by sad experience, the first one I opened. And I never, ever did that again. I always had good experience crew. Having a great customer experience is critical the first month for your customers because they'll come back. A lot of repeat customers in the hotel business. Uh, so to talk about the risks, um, how to mitigate the risks. Mitigate means how do you resolve the risks and um, your suggestions to do that. So you're going to identify them and then you're going to recommend how you mitigate them. And then um, you're going to create an exhibit um, and talk about the opportunity. And you can use the exhibit that we provide. I think it's uh, enableable. I think it's you can change the numbers. So one on one hand, you're going to actually look at the spreadsheet we provide you and say, what are the risks, right? The second is you can create one that um, mitigates the risks that may say, Maybe you don't do this, or you do this, or whatever. That's that's the spreadsheet. The second one you're gonna send back to me. Um, let's see. And then lastly, it talks about um, in bullet point seven talks about creating a, an overall action plan, not just a short term one, but a, but a long term action plan. And I wouldn't get too crazy with timing. I mean, you don't have to get into 10, 15, 20 years. Five years would probably be about as far as you need to go. And it's just too much work as a student to get any more detailed than that. So I'm not going to ask you for that. But um, there, there's a couple of bullet points in that action plan that you're going to need to answer. So I'm looking for those answers. And again, it's a 50 pointer, so it's a good one. You know, it's it's half half of your participation points. I mean, in one one assignment. So 
And this is done uh, due at midnight on the, on the 13th. So this is, a, this is a tough one. Two group assignments, two group write-ups, uh, some spreadsheets that you're going to have to review and create. And uh, it'll take time. It'll take you the whole week to do this properly. When you meet as a group, uh, it's totally okay to have secondary or tertiary meetings. Uh, you can do them either by Zoom or you can do them uh, just by email. Uh, when I was in groups like this, when I was in school, quite often we'd send uh, each other or call. You know, we didn't have the internet as much as we do today. But uh, it, like, you know, get on the phone and call people and say, here's what I have seen. This is how my, my portion of this group assignment, this is what I see. How do you see it? Would you do it any differently? Is some things that you saw maybe that I should include in my analysis, that kind of stuff. And that's totally okay to have a discussion about. All right, I think I've said enough. Um, again, if you have questions, just email me. I will do my best to get back with you. I, I know these things are urgent when you have questions, so. But include your whole group in your, in your email to me if you have questions. The whole group is gonna benefit from your questions, so. All right. Uh, so grateful for each of you. I, I wish you the best. Be sure and and ask Heavenly Father to help you because he will. And um, I just wish you Godspeed. And and uh, this is a wonderful class. And it's good to have you with, with me, helping me learn as well. So take care.